probably do a quick and simple wee dinner but um, you can use it for lunch or whatever but we can use it for dinner most, most times and I'm kind of both up doing it so all it is is tuna pasta so there's a I would go off of one can of tuna per person because one can can do two dump like two servings out. Um, probably not the two servings from now. But for me and my son, I can each of these two pots. Sorry for the pieces, it's a bit tough. Okay. And I'm going to do it into sink, but my sink's full of dishes. So. Yeah, you can't do that, just drain your tuna. And get it in the brine, do not get it in the oil, the oil is in the man. So. I'm going to for two minutes with the pot. That's it. One can in here. So this runs for my boy. Okay. It's a bit bigger bowl for me and my partner. Let's leave it on. My wee boy doesn't like. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's kind of going croaky on me. My wee boy doesn't like like tuna. Or, tuna? How could it be tuna pasta? It's no good tuna. Do you know what? My wee boy doesn't like <laughs> <laughs> sweet corn in it. Um, so that's why I separate his but. So I would put sweet corn on here but I don't have any sweet corn left. I'm trying not to pin one that just oh yeah. Right. Oh that's true is that. This is when really I've just been my pasta I cooked two hours ago. Now it's no hot or anything, it's just cool. So in the mine is diced onion and pepper and it's red onion. See when you put in a uh, Raw onion and something. Best to be with the red onion because it's kind of sweet and it doesn't have, it doesn't, it's not that harsh on the taste buds. Gotta wash my hands. Right. Yeah, we're gonna. Bring us another pasta up. Ah, it stuck, it sticks all to itself. Because it's been sat in there for a bit, but it does all stack. Whoop! See? You know what? it'll go in here because it's for two years. The rest it'll go in there. Well, probably not even know that. Probably put a wee bit too much pasta on. 
We don't care. Let's put it in there. I'll do my boys rounds round first. I don't even know if there's any left in this one. You know how there is. I like getting the jar stuff, but. I know it looks good, but it's no, it's just the bits that cleanse to the side. But. So, this shine's not even opened yet. Let's put a good dollop in this. And then the rest of it all goes in this one. I know it sounds like a lot mess. Just don't be on a diet when you're in this. <laughs> Having this once in a while is, isn't going to be Just put the lid back on that and we're going to go just let it sit for a wee bit. Pepper, you do not need salt in this enough salt in the tuna. Black pepper. Just tidy up a little bit. Sometimes I just I make the tuna pa the tuna mayonnaise stuff up first and then mix the pasta in it. Doesn't really matter. It's all going the same place in it. <laughs> Somebody's gob. I prefer to eat it cold. Sometimes my boy, my man does make, when my man makes it, he doesn't let the pasta cool or anything like that, just puts all the gas and gets it. So that's my boy's pasta done, and that'll do him two dinners, or a lunch and a dinner. This one. The reason I'm making this thing out is because my partner's going to his work and I normally make him his, his piece. This will go in for his piece. So I need to add my mayonnaise to this. Because you don't want a dry pasta or dry tuna. You want to have mayonnaise all the way through it, you don't want to have just a wee teensy bit here and there. Can you drop me here? I'm just going to keep the lid on for that one. That should be the right one. Drop me, not much. And that oh, wants to escape. I'll stick it in the fridge until we're ready for it. But that's how it is. And that's. Just 
making cherry pasta for dinner. Quick, easy, and that's me making a for a dinner and a lunch. So I'd like to say thanks for folk that have subscribed and folk that have liked but I feel a wee bit happier I don't know what I this is hard to say but it's given me something it's just for me yeah. and it's like I loved cooking beforehand I loved doing the cooking it's just I can get to somebody get a wee bit of knowledge to somebody else and that's just it's made me happy a wee bit yeah it feels weird to try and describe things to people that's how it's that's one of my things and my anxiety that I get worked up about because I feel like I don't explain things properly to pe people and they're just like what are you going on about but I shouldn't be I shouldn't be worried about that if they don't understand me they can ask me again and I should be able to say it what it is but it's the fact that I'm fear in case somebody's asking and they're thinking or oh, she's going to see, they, they rang again and all that kind of stuff but no I'm happy with what I'm doing and if it just didn't get any bigger than whatever whoever I've already reached to or whatever I don't care it's just something for me I'm not doing it for anybody else really so but thanks me a, it's gave me a wee bit of, what do you call that, just a wee bit of happiness. I was happy before but it's gave me a wee bit of a boost, a wee bit of a smiles during the day, just being doing it. But thank you very much and I'll don't know what I'll, what the next video is, but I'll probably be cooking. But I'll see you then. Bye.